Hello and uh, welcome back to my channel. For this video, we are going to compare two pocket pinballs. And they are Femi Palm by Xiaomi and Osmo Pocket 2 by DJI. I know there's already Femi Palm 2 and Femi Palm 2 Pro, but this is all I have, so let's do it. First, let's compare their physical attributes. Fimi Palm is slightly heavier than Pocket 2. Fimi Palm is 120 grams, Pocket 2 is 117 grams. Fimi Palm has 1.22 inch touch screen, while DJI Pocket 2 has only 1 inch. As for the interface, Fimi Palm is so simple. Only has two buttons, the power button and the joystick. Pocket 2 is a little complicated than Fimi Palm. This is not actually the power button. The power button is found on the left side. It has removable part, which is this part. You can remove this. That's the joystick. So if you're asking why that part is removable, it's actually interchangeable. The joystick and USB for iPhone and Android Type-C. These two are for you to upgrade the firmware. So I will explain later. SD card slot is found on the right side. At the bottom is the charging port, which is type C. The edge of the base is kind of curved, so that will make Fimi Palm more stable when you put them both on a flat surface. Fimi Palm's SD card is found on the left side. Charging port at the bottom, type C. So how do you upgrade the firmwares of these two? As for Osmo Pocket 2, if your phone is an Android, just attach the Type-C external part. Go straight to DJI's website because you can find it in Play Store. Look for DJI Nemo and download the APK file. Install it. Once you're done, turn on your Pocket 2. Attach it to your phone. And it will automatically launch MIMO. From there, it will tell you if there is an available upgrade. Now it's different with Fimi Palm. It's actually easier. You just need to go to Fimi's website and download the firmware files. Save the files in SD card. Insert the SD card in your Fimi Palm. When you turn it on, it will ask you to upgrade your unit. That easy. Let's compare the specs of the two in tabular form so it may be easier for you to understand. Now we're done comparing their physical attributes. Let's find out their performances. I just want to show you how they are positioned before taking the picture. For inter photography, auto exposure and auto white balance, we can see that Fimi Palm gives us a wider view. In Pocket 2, subject seems closer to the camera. I took this picture outside at 5.45 p.m. Again, Fimi Palm gave us a wider view. But when we zoom in again, although Pocket 2 gave us a darker picture, the detail of the flower is more defined and Fimi Palm's picture is lower in quality and a bit grainy. Pocket 2's white balance may not be good here and it's slightly overexposed as the sky suggests. From a distance, if compared side by side, Fimi Palm looks better but if we zoom in, it has actually lower quality. With auto exposure, white balance, and ISO, Pocket 2's image improved here. Now, Packet 2's 64MP mode versus Fimi Palm's HDR mode. Packet 2's exposure isn't that bad at all, it's cooler compared to Fimi Palm's, which looks warmer. In here, they look really almost the same, except Fimi Palm has, of course, wider view. They both look warm, perhaps because of auto white balance. 
I just want to show you the setup of these two before I take the video. This is video under low light condition. Um, they're both 4K, 24 FPS, auto exposure, auto white balance. And the only light we have is the light coming from the kitchen. Try to move. Try to move. Both are using the follow mode. Okay, let's try turning off the kitchen light. Hey Google, kitchen light off. Got it, turning the kitchen light off. I'm using the audio of my phone, which is S22 Ultra. Let's go test the audio of these two. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Again, with the sky being too white with packet 2 Face tracking of Pocket 2 is kind of annoying. The camera is all over the place, the panning is not smooth. At one point, it stopped tracking my face. While Femi Palms is pleasant to look at, it's smoother. Okay, we have seen their performances. Let's first talk about photography. Femi Palm gave us wider view of the images because in fact, it has ultra wide feature photos seem better in color but if you actually zoom in you will see that pocket 2's images are higher in quality same with the video Femi's videos seem better in color and white balance as though there's already a filter applied to them in most cases pocket 2's videos are a bit overexposed and the white balance is not right but if you take a closer look the videos of pocket 2 have better quality Okay, let's talk about the battery. According to specs, Fimi Palm can last up to 240 minutes and Pocket 2 for 140 minutes. That wasn't the case. When I came back home, Fimi Palm's battery is almost drained. Pocket 2 is still half full. Face tracking. Pocket 2 already has this issue years ago, I found out. And I see DJI didn't do something about it. What's going on, DJI? Honestly, face tracking isn't that important for me. But hey, you offered that feature. It's part of what we paid for. And somebody who is supposed to be a copycat of you is doing better in that department. And in Finipom's face tracking is really decent. It's not even Finipom 2 or Finipom 2 Pro. Now I can't wait to check out Finipom 2 Pro. Because guess what? 
I just ordered it two days ago. Although Fimi Palm gave us uh, images and videos that are better in color, in white balance, we can actually tweak Pocket 2's settings before taking pictures or before shooting videos. The thing is, we compared their performances and they have to have the same settings. The thing that we can do a little about is the quality and that is the problem of Fimi Palm. So having said that, I think I would still choose Pocket 2 over Fimi Palm. Like I said, face tracking isn't important for me. Battery life is important for me. And about color, white balance, and overexposure issue, you can find the perfect setting before shooting images and videos. And ND filter can help. Again, this is Like a Virgin. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. See you again on our next. Bye!